Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah, this is... Oh, Belle. And tonight we are making dinner. We thought we'd bring you along because we're doing something really fun. Lately we have been eating one ingredient food, so that means we're buying from the grocery store foods that only have one ingredient. And a lot of people have asked why, and what, like what's the point of this, and that kind of thing. It's and we thought- mom likes to pretend she's homesteading. <laughs> We thought we'd bring you along today while we're making dinner and show you exactly why we're eating this way. We all know for the most part that eating at home, cooking at home, is healthier than eating at a restaurant. But lately when we've been checking all the ingredients of the foods that we are cooking with at home, we have been shocked to see how many ingredients go into each of those items. So tonight we're making one of our favorite meals. It's a white chicken chili, and we're gonna make it the old school way that we've always made it, and then we're gonna make it with one ingredient foods, and we'll count up the ingredients in each one so that we know how many ingredients are in each bite, and I think it's going to be a little surprising. And then we're also going to do a taste test with all the other kids and see if they can tell which one is which, and which one they like better. <laughs> so let's get started. Are you gonna help me? Yeah. Okay. Here are the ingredients that we're starting with. These ones in the center we're gonna use for both sides, the cilantro, the cumin, and the chili powder. Belle is going to keep track of the ingredients in each item and keep a count. To start out with, we have chicken breasts with rib meat. We won't count the rib meat. Contains up to 15% solution of chicken broth, salt, natural flavoring, and ice glazed. Do we so we'll just ice count the <laughs> we'll count the the meat, the broth, the salt, and the natural flavoring. Natural flavoring we all know can mean a whole lot of things, I think. But we'll count natural flavoring as one ingredient itself. So I threw in five large chicken breasts. I actually did that this morning. They've been thawing all day. So for the one ingredient chicken breast, this only has it says with rib meat, which we're not counting, and that's the only thing added to this. Nothing else is added. And these seem a little smaller because they don't have all that added stuff. I think I'll probably throw in six or seven. Next up is black beans. The can of black beans I found at Aldi is actually pretty good. It only has salt added, so they're organic too. What do you know? That's the only can they had. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten the one with all the ingredients in it. <laughs> and Micah is rinsing out my frozen ones, so. That is just black beans, nothing else added. Two ingredients for the high side, one for the low. I have added both of those to my pressure cooker. This is the high ingredient side. They don't really look black, which is kind of weird. And this is the low ingredient side. I think I, I usually package them in about two cups and a real can is more like a cup and a half, so it looks a little more, but they look like black beans. <laughs> Next up we have our white beans. I found great northern beans at Aldi. This was the only can of white beans they had available. And the ingredients here say prepared great northern beans, water, salt, calcium chloride for a firming agent. So we will count uh, the beans, the salt, and the calcium chloride for that. And on the low ingredient side, it's my chickpeas and that's all it is. I forgot to pull out an onion. The next thing that the recipe calls for is one medium onion chopped. I have this one large onion, so I'm just gonna chop it up and divide it in half between them. An onion is an onion is an onion. So one ingredient on both sides. Yeah. Did you get that, Belle? Yeah, I got it. An onion is an onion is an onion. I'm poetic, I'm being poetic. <laughs> Have you read poetry lately? <laughs> no, I'm not a big fan, actually. Here's how it's looking so far. Next, we are adding a can of corn with the juice. This can of corn that I had in my basement has sea salt added and water. So we'll count two ingredients for that. And on the one ingredient side, we found a can of corn in our pantry that had no salt, so it's just corn and water. I guess we don't count water over here. <laughs> Next up we have Rotel tomatoes, one can. Rotel tomatoes are diced tomatoes with green chilies. But in this can are tomatoes, water, chopped green chili peppers, and less than 2% of salt, calcium chloride, natural flavor, citric acid, and cilantro. So this one tiny can counts as seven ingredients. On the one ingredient side, we are chopping up some tomatoes and chili peppers, which is what I thought this was. <laughs> Bella's chopping those for me and we're gonna seed the peppers so they're not too spicy. Next up is chicken broth. We have the store-bought chicken broth 
that has in it sea salt, natural flavors, yeast extract, chicken fat, carrot juice concentrate, onion juice concentrate, and celery juice concentrate. Well, maybe it'll taste better than mine <laughs> because mine literally had the bones of the chicken plus water and a little vinegar, apple cider vinegar. So counting this one as two ingredients. And this one, I didn't read the first ingredient was chicken broth itself. So this one counts as eight ingredients. I'm gonna add a half a cup of each of these to their respective pressure cookers. Belle's still cutting those tomatoes over there for me. <laughs> Next we're doing one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of chili powder in each pressure cooker. Not quite as simple as it might seem. The cumin is just cumin, but chili powder is chili pepper, other spices, salt, and garlic powder but it's going in both. So we'll count it as four points for each one, for that one. One for each for that. This is Luca, he's gonna add those for me. So this branch packet is what the recipe calls for. And this one has maltodextrin, buttermilk salt, lactic acid, garlic sugar, garlic sugar, onion, spices, citric acid, less than 2% of calcium, stirrate, xanthan gum, couple things I can't pronounce, yeast extract, and natural flavors. Here is the ranch seasoning I normally make. And I make this out of garlic powder, dried parsley, minced onion, dried minced onion, salt, and pepper. Five ingredients for this one, and 15 in this one. I only needed about half of that seasoning packet, and so I did, um, one tablespoon of the other seasoning. So that's the homemade stuff and this is the packet. The last item we're gonna add is cream cheese. Now we just made our own cream cheese. It was my first time ever trying it. I used cream on top milk, so like really thick milk with lemon juice and then I added some salt in when I uh, blended it together. So three ingredients for this and then we just made some more cream cheese out of yogurt that I made from home, so that literally has one ingredient in it. And I'm testing that out to see how it turns out. This one tastes very good. The yogurt one tastes a little sour, but it's also very good. So we'll count this one as three ingredients because that's what I used to make it. And let's check out this box of cream cheese that I picked up from Aldi today. It has pasteurized milk and cream, cheese culture, salt, guar gum, carob bean gum, and xanthan gum. So I'm gonna count the pasteurized milk and cream as one since I'm counting it as one over here. So this one has six ingredients and this one has three, but this one loses a lot of points in my book because I can't pronounce all of the ingredients. That looks good. We decided to just use one pepper because she forgot to take the seeds out of that one. <laughs> we want these little kids to eat it. What? He loves Belle. What? I'm putting a whole block of cream cheese in the high ingredient one and um, half of this because I believe it's about two cups. So we want one cup. Here are the final pots. We have the one ingredient foods as much as possible and the normal ingredients we'll call it. And we're gonna cook these on high pressure for 20 minutes each and check them out when they're done. My pressure cookers are working. I've already chopped the cilantro that'll stir in in the end after I shred the chicken. Are you laughing at me? She got jalapeno in her eye, not jalapeno. You know, you know. It was green and it was long. Right. Yeah, she got. <laughs> Oh, poor Belle. Is that thing soaked in milk? Yes. Oh. This is the second time I've gotten really injured on camera. Oh. Um, I'm gonna well, shred the chicken, return it to the pressure cooker, stir it all together and stir in the cilantro. The cilantro brings the high ingredient one to 52 ingredients per bite and the low ingredient one to 23 wow. ingredients per bite. If we think about this technically, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Milk's dripping down your face. Right, whatever. Um, if you think about this technically, it won't be 52 ingredients per bite necessarily. Okay, like if you don't get a piece of corn in your bite. Well, well, I mean, like it wouldn't be that because, of, like, the juice would just. Are you gonna make it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Obviously, you could see through this little experiment that just replacing a couple of things would make a huge difference. I think the, if I was only replacing one thing, I would probably focus on that ranch seasoning because that was 15 ingredients versus five, and a lot of those 15 were hard to pronounce, which is never a good sign when it comes to food. You wanna know I mean, what food you're eating. I think the cream cheese was also a good one for getting rid of some ad added stuff, but that definitely takes a few steps extra 
although it was not hard at all. And then the chicken broth had a lot of ingredients, the store-bought one. It did mostly seem to be real food items that I recognize, so that's a benefit for sure. But yeah, you can see how just replacing a few things does make a difference. <laughs> the milk is actually helping. <laughs> it works, yay! We're going to test this soon, but I was going to mention that overall, eating at home still is a lot healthier. I know that I said that at the beginning of the video, but I saw a lady online who went to eat a deli sandwich at a local deli, and she counted up and realized when she thought the peppers were way too yellow, she realized that there were 172 ingredients per one bite of the sandwich she had ordered, and it was because there was even coloring in the peppers to make them bright yellow, and so when you're eating at home, you are still eating a lot better, I think, than most of the time when you're eating out. As far as random stuff that you're putting in your body that you have no idea about. I'm really glad that that meal we did with the regular ingredients that the recipe calls for was just 52 items. That's not terrible. But 23 is still way better. He just spilled water all over himself. I better take care of that. Here are the two stews. Can you tell the difference? Tori cannot tell the difference in looks. Let's see if you can taste the difference. Which one okay. has very few ingredients? Let's start with this. Is made out of mostly one ingredient foods, and which one is not? Hmm. Okay, which one do you like better? I think I like this one better. Okay, and which one do you think has less ingredients? This one? No! <laughs> Can you tell the difference by looks? By looks, I think this one has less ingredients. Okay, let's see by taste if you can tell. Or do they taste the same or what? No, this one tastes better. But this one I would say, the only reason I would, would want to put more salt in this one to tell. This is more seasoned better. But this one is lacking salt. So I don't know if that's the difference in taste, but I like the taste of this one better. And I think this is the artificial one, the one that tastes better. <laughs> the artificial one. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. But that is interesting because so many of the um, ingredients that we used in that one had added salt. So many of them. Yeah, I need more salt. I think it probably tastes different. Yep. Okay, let's try with extra adding salt before we feed it to the other kids. <laughs> Micah, can you tell which one has less ingredients? Like just one ingredient foods. Mm -hmm. Which one's made of one ingredient foods? One ingredient foods? Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, that's what you think? All right, try them. Can you tell from taste which one is made of one ingredient foods? Hmm, this one seems a lot more creamy. Mm-hmm. And this one is like... A lot more salty. No, <laughs> they're about the same top. Yeah, and this one's uh, one ingredient. Okay, which one is your favorite? My favorite, this one. Okay, you're right, that one was one ingredient. You got it. It's interesting, cream? maybe I didn't put enough cream cheese Not in it. <laughs> no, you didn't. It doesn't have the equivalence of cream. Uh, yeah. Okay, we added some cream cheese and salt before the big kids get home from youth. They're gonna try it, and, it, and now it seems like the same ingredients more. But I noticed a big difference in taste. What do you think? Yeah, I think uh, the, the reason I said I prefer the other taste it was just because of seasoning. After I took out the salt and the cream cheese, it ended up tasting much better, the less ingredient one. Yeah, we, once we made it match um, in amounts of salt and cream cheese, man, the one made out of one ingredient foods is so much better, and the other one actually has a funny taste to it after yeah, you right. try it's the like other. Yeah, right, like eating Velveeta cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what am I eating? This is not cheese, Yeah. It's fake. Another interesting thing to note is I think it would have been cheaper, the one ingredient food chili is cheaper. I'm pretty sure, but I didn't do the exact math. Okay, okay Luca, so one of them is made out of one ingredient foods. Can you tell which one by looks? Uh, by looks? Uh, I don't know. Maybe this one. That one's the one ingredient? One ingredient. This one actually tastes a lot better. This one's really good. That's the one ingredient. This is? Yes. Is really? <laughs> yes. Why did you think this one was? If this one tastes better. 
<laughs> you just didn't think uh, one ingredient food would taste more better? More ingredients with better taste? Uh, <laughs> well, that's an interesting concept. All right, you did help me, but can you tell by looks which one it is? Um, this one's one ingredient because the tomatoes are cut too big. Okay, I'm not telling you if you're right or not, but go ahead and taste it and see what you think. Which one's one ingredient? Why does this one have chickpeas in it? And spicy, so I'm liking this one. Do we have one ingredient? Do we have any one ingredient? Nope. <laughs> really? <laughs> that one is one ingredient. Oh. It's probably spicier because we use the peppers. Oh, that's right. I didn't know this. I did cut the tomatoes good. <laughs> and the store kept them wrong. So you liked the one with many ingredients better? Um, yeah, I guess so. But it still needs sour cream. Well, so it's a little bit cute dog. <laughs> Can you tell by looks? By looks, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this one is the one ingredient. Okay, try it by taste. I wanna know which one you think it is and which one you like better. This one I like better. And which one's one ingredient, do you think? Probably this. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Judah says that the one ingredient one is a lot brighter in flavor. I agree. I ate for dinner, mostly I had the one ingredient one, and then I took a bite of the other one, and you, it tastes different, for it, sure. You can taste like a, just that more, can taste to me. Is it like the same recipe except one ingredientified? I just, just <laughs> Wait, is it like the same recipe except one, like one ingredient stuff? Instead of like ham. Yes, stuff. exactly the same recipe. You uh, what? I don't taste the canned stuff or anything, but I just this one's a lot more flavorful, and this one tastes bland after eating this. Okay, there you have it, folks. It was an interesting experiment. We had fun doing it. You may be wondering, Sarah, how, what are you gonna do with all of that chicken stew? It's eat. almost gone. We have ten kids in this house. <laughs> no problem with that. So yeah, that's all I have for you. Maybe we'll try it again sometime with another recipe. Thank you guys for watching today. Uh, if you want to see this with another recipe, let us know. <laughs> we will talk to you guys next time. Bye.